Then there is this idea which is always unstable. The Dr. Raw phenomena, for which the label is not an explanation in the sense of a documentary narrative or commentary, like a guy is telling his listener how high this particular redwood is, or how many years it took the Colorado River to cut the Grand Canyon. The label is a document of persistence, of invention, dancing with the pit of non necessity. Dancing over the pit of no Non necessity. Non necessity. Yeah, I think it, it's, it's great that the idea of, uh, for me, the, what, what it makes, uh, what Mayne is doing is the, the little note of uh, the time frame that she's using and, and leave us a, a trace of the, the, the Mars that it does and the, the time, you know, the, the, the shift. As a, as a, yeah, it's kind of like labor, you know, labor intensive and she's kind of like, well, Checking in and checking out, you know, when they, when they, mm -hmm. the thing, um, and uh, uh, you know, the performative act, um, I think, is a uh, very important one. Do you think the actual dots are important? Not really. No. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a, it's a kind of, a, it's a choice of, a, of um, a, a format or a, or a trace, but I don't think. Important to um, that is paint or is a paintbrush. I don't think it has nothing to do with painting at all. I think um, I think it makes more sense if we just write them as like uh, as a trace, as you said, or as a bit of ink instead of a dot, instead of using the word dot, because that's just the pointing yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah but I mean, uh, as for me, it's kind of like. Uh, it could be anything. From, that's why I remark yeah. about the, the shift and yeah, the, this is, this the is time important. frame. It's like, it could be anything. I think it's the persistency of just measuring that and, yeah. and, and being there. I actually think the dots matter because they, they point to kind of a micro, macro, cosmic view of things. It could be whenever Mae was finished, who knows? You know, there's kind of an infinitude in, mm. my, in dots and, and in. They can be a graphism as well, and you make exactly the same effect. They just say like microcosm and meter, you know. I think it's so much more profound the dot because that's the absolute smallest mark you can paint as a painter. Mm -hmm. Like a painting that you can make, and you're watching you collect. So it's the biggest contrast you can make ever. I think you can go way of um, perceiving things because the dot would trigger white red so much more strongly than just a blob of paint. Um, but on the other hand, I think a block of paint would trigger probably the more strongly than dots. So it's about relating to your audience and your way of expressing the result within your particular audience mm -hmm. and trigger your brain more strongly. Maybe. I like the um, I like this possibility that we've all entered into here, in that you know whilst we're talking. About if we didn't talk about it for about 30 seconds with this trial or something, you know, could we um, create some sort of oddly experienced maid? You know, so if we if we were to concentrate, we'll just watch her in silence. You know, what what would that do for Maeve as a as an artist right now? You know, what kind of experience would that? We're viewing, um, but we're also bringing an energy to the work. We've almost kind of become the work that's spreading. I quite like the visual effects the dots have because it's almost like that mass is pulsating. I don't know, I remember in one of the talks. Some of the mountain side that spoke about different visual effects. Anyway, there's a, a movement, well, I see a movement there, and I just like the idea of this huge mass of pulsating that's sort of representing this whole mass of time, really. the representation of time, pulsated representation of time. White noise. <laughs> I think it really is white noise, white like noise. the snow. And the yeah. It's, it's, it's time, isn't it? That's yeah. it. I'm just wondering if the quality of the, the dots changes as well, you know, there's a time and you get tired and 
you know, as you know, you're being watched or um, when you're in the zone. And you can find a pattern, so I can yeah. kind of have circles, pattern that it goes around. I'm and just wondering. Know, the, 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 the visual or is there's a hand that nobody's. I'm just wondering whether that quality can be used in a, in a productive way, you know, whether that, <laughs> you know, whether it's a, the change that will happen, you know, to Mabel, her painting while she, the time goes on, whether the mark, you know, whether, whether she will deliberately change the mark or whether it, she is committed to, to the dot um, or whether she is committed to, to time. A, it's, it's a commitment to, to the period of time she's painting, whether she's committed to that yeah. or not. So I think it's think it's activity. Mm. It, pass, it makes you pass through very different sensations, feelings, yeah. understanding. Mm -hmm. And also, I think it's a really amazing um, experience of time itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're repeating and stuff like this, sometimes you want to you try and make time go quicker. Try and make it slow down, and that is probably reflected in the actual movements of the hand. But also, sometimes you might find that you're doing this, and suddenly for about 20 dots, you're not there at all. Isn't that a, a quote from Catch 22, uh, where probably. this guy he, he is not he doesn't want to go into war or, or to fly the bomb plane, obviously, because you know he might die. Uh, so he, every minute he tries to prolong his life by doing really sort of senselessly boring things. So he goes, goes out to, to, to do, and everybody thought, why are you doing this, it's so boring. But, you know, everything I can do to prolong my life, basically, will just make it better. that she makes dots, they're, they're little outbursts, and if you've ever seen uh, mold grow fast forward, it <laughs> grows in the exact same way, little, little bursts, and it's almost like as you look in your eyes, it's like <laughs> 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 Space and not just the wall, and um, turn around there, coming down here to the glass. Because the piece that she had in the studio is more about to fill that um, square, and now it's more about just spending the time doing just this movement. And I think that's a, a big change and different. No, seconds will give it made a lot of energy. Quite a long time, isn't it? Twenty-two minutes. Thank you, Mary.